Hey guys, I'm Eric Peterson and I'm a men's dating and relationship coach for skillofattraction.com and today's coaching video is called When Women Ask for Space. Now as many of you know these coaching videos is when one of you guys writes in to me and if I think it's a question that would be beneficial to my viewers and my subscribers I answer your question in a video. And in this particular email I got from a viewer his girlfriend has asked him for space and he's really not quite sure how to handle the situation. So I'm going to go through his email. It's a short one and I'm going to give him some tips on how he could continue moving forward and have the best possible outcome. But if you guys need my personal help and you're interested in some private coaching, please head over to my website at skillofattraction.com. Click on the coaching tab and there you'll see that I have several options for you to choose from. I offer emergency email coaching that includes a response from me on weekends and holidays. And I also offer bi-weekly and monthly email coaching where I will work with you throughout that time period. Additionally, I offer phone coaching for my U.S. clients. Now, if you live outside the U.S., I will have a phone or Skype coaching option sometime in the future, but for right now, email coaching is the way to go. So let's get on to his email. Oh, and I will post the links to both my contact page and my coaching page in the description down below. So now, let's get on to his email. He says, my girlfriend asked for a break and said she needed space because I was suffocating her and she wants me to use the time to grow and listen to her, but said we could still text and hang out, but I was told when you give space, you're not supposed to contact the person. What do I do? Okay, so when a woman asks for space, she's basically saying that you've turned her off so much by your weak and needy behavior that she has had it and she needs some time to sort through her emotions and to see if, she, if there are any feelings left. Basically, she wants to see if she misses you when you're apart. So by you staying in contact with her, she never gets the chance to, experiencing, to experience missing you. Plus, you would still be suffocating her. I, what's strange about this is she says that you could still text and hang out and that really doesn't make any sense. So, oh, and as a side note, I want to make sure that you understand that sometimes when women ask for space, it's because you've hurt them in some way. So it's not always about weak and needy behavior, but this is usually the case. And in this particular case, she actually told you the reason why. But it is weird that she has suggested that you still text and hang out. That doesn't make any sense. So what I recommend that you do is actually give her all the space she needs. The good news in all this is that she's actually telling you what the problem is. In many cases, women will hint at it at the very most or not say a word about it, thinking that you should be able to read her mind at the very least. So by her explaining what's bothering her, it's a sign that she cares about you and the relationship. She's simply doing maintenance and she expects the same for you to do the same. Had she not said a word and just broke up with you, that would mean that she was completely done with the relationship, considering that Considering that she did tell you, it's a sign that she genuinely does want the relationship to work. She just can't do it on her own, so she needs you to step up. So, <clears throat> taking away the fact that she said you could still text, text and hang out, I would ignore that. And the first thing that you want to do, anytime a woman tells you that you're suffocating her or smothering her, is to start finding other things to do with your time that doesn't include her. I mean, start hanging out with your buddies more. I mean, it's an easy step in the right direction. But what you should really be doing is turning a majority of your attention onto pursuing your goals, and building your value as a man. For women, a man with high value is the equivalent of what a beautiful woman with a smoking hot body is for a man. So building your value is extremely important if you want more options with beautiful women. And the more value that you have, the more options you will have and the quality in women will go up as well. But you mostly want to do this for yourself because you're going to feel better about yourself, more confident, happier, fulfilled, and so on. You should 
I mean, you sound like you're, you might be young, so it's not uncommon for a young man to have little value because men have to build their value and we just, it just doesn't suddenly appear. And this could take some time. Sadly for women, most of their value in terms of romantic relationships lies in their beauty and their sexuality. Unfortunately for them, they either have it or they don't, and there's not too much that could be done about that. Men, on the other hand, we have the ability to completely transform, transform ourselves. When you're young, you're basically a blank slate, and any goals that you reach is adding value. That's true no matter what age you are, but you're going to be making yourself a little more attractive to women the more value that you add. I mean, just reaching your goals isn't enough, but it will help immensely. And most of these things that I, that I teach will come naturally for men if they just focus on building their value. You're not going to be falling apart if a woman dumps you because you're going to be more busy chasing your goals. It will still hurt, but not nearly as much if you had absolutely nothing going on in your life besides your girl. So to answer your question on what you should do in this situation, give her space. Do not initiate contact with her anymore for any reason until you begin hearing from her again. And when she does finally reach out, make sure you have a fun and upbeat attitude. Don't act all butthurt. And after a little back and forth with her, tell her that you would like to see her and ask her when she's free to get together. Now, when she tells you when she's free, then simply set a definite date with her, meaning set a definite day and a definite time when you will be getting together. Then don't initiate contact with her until your date. You want to let her reach out to you and put her in a position where she's chasing you a bit. Now, if she happens to reject your offer of getting together, politely accept it, tell her it was great to hear from her, but you're a bit tied up at the moment. Say you're busy or something. Then end the call or text with telling her to keep in touch and go back to no contact when you're with you not initiating any contact at all. Now, just as another little side note here, you only want to, you, if she's going to be contacting you all the time and she's not getting together with you, you don't want to ask more than two times. After two times, you've tried, she's rejected you both times, there's no point in to continue doing this. After that, you're really just chasing her and she's really just playing a little game. So ask her twice. If she rejects you both times, the ball is in her court. But in the meantime, figure out what your goals are if you haven't already then begin putting a plan together of what you have to do in order to reach those goals and begin taking baby steps in that direction. Now this is going to take up a lot of your free time, but you're also being productive. And this, I mean, you will begin to feel better about yourself and your confidence will slowly begin to rise the closer you get to your goals. Now I realize that all this may sound over oversimplified in terms of what you should do when your girl asks for space, but this is really what you have to do in this situation. And it's really nothing. Just stop chasing her. Stop reaching out to her. Give her all the space she wants. Give her the gift of missing you. And then just focus on building yourself. Make, and make time for your girl when she expresses an interest in seeing you. And she'll usually do this by simply reaching out to you. Then all you have to do is set a date. And just don't get too involved with talking and texting over a phone over the phone. Again, spend a majority of your free time building yourself as well as building your social circle, staying in shape, and anything else that you could think of that will make you a better version of yourself. And this is really all that you have to do. It's it's not that complicated in terms of the action that you have to take, it may be a little complicated internally with that anxiety building up and, and fearing that you'll lose her, but actually that fear that you may lose her is actually what drives women away. So just take that into account. So if you found this video helpful or any of my videos helpful, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up 
and for you to share it with any of your friends and family. And I'd also really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button down below and tick that little bell symbol next to it so you get real-time notifications of when I upload new videos. And also in the description down below, I'll have a link to both my contact page and my coaching page. And I also have a link to PayPal if you deem this video worthy of a donation. So that's it for this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.